hustle is a deep payment Working double hours up in the basement Came from the struggle, still going, can't say that I made it It's all so good, don't matter, it's a good day Charles Chipman listens with pride to his friend Ivo Otieno's songs. Let's see, here he is, my oh, man. Said he really wanted to do music. Some of which he dropped just weeks ago. It's just cool to see like someone say like, this is what I'm set out to do. It's all on us, my brother know we're gonna make it. Recently, he's fine listening to his friend's songs have new meaning. He doesn't have any more time. His friend died at a Central Virginia mental hospital in early March. I just still can't believe it, you know. The Dinwiddie Commonwealth's attorney has charged seven Henrico deputies and three Central State Hospital employees with second degree murder in connection to his death. There is, there is goodness in his music. Otieno's mom loved his music too. And that's all I'm left with now, he's gone. Chipman won't just remember his friend by his music. This is probably the first one that we did here. But by the experience of creating a song together five years ago. This is actually the microphone that Brother Vo used when he recorded his song. The song they wrote? Called uh, God's Grace. God's Grace, bless the B-22. Now this song has comforted me in the loss of him, but I never really envisioned it would be like that. Chipman remembers the recording process to have been very raw. He shared that Vo wrote the song reflecting on his dad dying days before his birthday. You my fan, be my fan. Sorry, and talking about what he wanted his life to be. I was surprised at how open he was about um, just things he'd been going through in his, in his life. I mean, the song was really about gratitude that he got to survive all that he had been through. Now his family and friends are left with just music. Sorry if I lost you, where my plan? Since his life ended at just 28 years old. I'm glad that I was able to um, know him for the time that I did and that he was willing to share that part of his life and that vision for his life. Just as music lives forever, they hope his legacy will too. I'm hoping that people can remember who he truly was um, and remember what he truly needed, which was care in a time of crisis. In Richmond, Maggie Marshall, CBS 6 News.